quick round of applause for everything that's in the band club <laughs> Secondly, when I was born in 2001, the infant mortality rate in Congo was above the overall average for Africa at 156 per 1,000. To put that into perspective, the infant mortality rate in Australia is three deaths per 1,000. When I was born in 2001 in Congo, the infant mortality rate was 156 per 1,000. I had a 1 in 6 chance of dying before I turned 1 years old. When I say I am truly honoured and grateful to be standing in front of you all today, I well and truly mean it. As for the captain of 2019, my aim was to redefine what it means to be a man. What it means to be a man, a young man, in Hobson's Bay. It's clear in our community there's a lot of men that keep a curtain drawn with the rule that I deal with my fears, my anxieties, my sense of loneliness, my uncertainty. All of that, I deal with it on my own. Because that's what real men do. A real man doesn't burden people with his problems. That's what women do. That's what weak men do. I'll figure it out on my own. On the 21st of December, 2018, my soccer team received news that our captain had suddenly passed away with a hidden battle with mental illness that he thought could only be fought alone. While I'm not saying that if more people had known about his struggles, things would have been any different, it is sad to think that he potentially felt that no one could be there for him when so many people would have been and have been for others. Until we can break that rule and have men understand there's strength in being able to reach out to other people that were born for intimacy, that were pack animals, and that there's ways in which we become stronger and better people when we can make connections with other people and let others into our lives. Our community will constantly struggle. When I look at my generation, the future of this planet, the future of our community, what I see is that a lot of us are socialized into half of our humanity and trying to reach the pinnacle of masculinity. In a shifting culture, our understanding of what it means to be a man is changing. When most men hear the word vulnerability, they immediately link it with weakness and ignore any hint of introspection. I want my generation to understand that vulnerability represents a form of power, a deep and elusive form of power. As men of Hobson's Bay, when you're able to make yourself vulnerable, you're saying to the world, I don't care what you think of me, this is who I am, and I refuse to be anyone else. I want everyone to know that our mental struggles do not detract from our virility, nor does our suffering taint our strength. Lastly, and I guess most importantly, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Mr. Skeveres, my deputy principal, unfortunately he can't be with us today, but he has taught me a lot how to be a leader, how to be a leader that listens, a leader that leads. To Mark Clark, thank you for seeing potential in me that sometimes I don't see in myself, and for always teaching me the great and right views and values in life. To my brother, thank you for always keeping me grounded and for reminding me that I am not that cool. To be honest. <laughs> and to my beautiful mother, um, thank you for your supporting me and always praying for me. I know it wasn't easy raising two boys by yourself, but I guess you didn't do too bad. <laughs> and to all of you, thank you very much for your support for this nomination. Um, 
I, I honestly could never have imagined that I would be standing in front of you all today. Ladies and gentlemen, finish off. Let's just remember one thing. Being honest about how we feel does not make us weak. It makes us human. Thank you.